chronic constipation, which um, interesting definition uh, for different people, can be and is in fact associated with many types of chronic diseases. The skin, which many people think is the largest organ, but in fact it's not. It's the gastrointestinal tract surface area wise, and it's extremely large organ. It is extremely heavy. It weighs several pounds if, it, if we were to dissect it off and, and, and physically weigh it. It's very important for regulating our temperature. As we know, it's how we sweat, and sweat is a very natural excretory product. In fact, if we look at the composition of sweat, it's very, very close to the composition of urine. And so our body uses sweat as a way to eliminate and sweat isn't just the type of thing that is necessarily when we're working out in the gym, but sweat is the type of thing where the pores open, the body is able to eliminate. And we need to be mindful of the fact if we're doing, using products, any perspirants, for example, that are preventing us from perspiring, when we're going against a natural physiologic process that the body needs to do on a regular basis. If there's body odor, that's usually a suggestion that there's an imbalance of bacteria. That's usually a suggestion that there's more an internal problem than there is an external problem. And the fourth one, of course, is the kidney. Now, urine is eliminated, is the liquid waste that is eliminated uh, through the kidney <coughs> on a regular basis. <clears throat> and it's how we remove water-soluble uh, byproducts, or waste products, excuse me. Uh, depending on the volume of fluids that you take in, will pretty much determine a volume of fluids that are, that are lost. On average, depending on body size, there's somewhere between 800 and 2200 milliliters in any 24 hour period. And this volume is also a reflection of our state of hydration. 